Hey everyone, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Sconcy Business, and today we're here with David Zo, who is the CEO and founder of Token Tuber. Uh, if, can you just start off by sharing a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, thank you, Scott, for the interview. So my name is David. Uh, originally, I'm a Canadian and uh, immigrated to Canada at age 11 and uh, finished my university in Waterloo and then uh, went to Boston to do my work and uh, on my first entrepreneurship in Boston. And uh, six years ago, I had a chance to come move back to China and uh, continue my serial entrepreneurship in China and uh, did a few things with um, startups as well as big company startups. So I had a chance to enter two public companies to incubate startups for them. At the same time, I had a chance to do some investments uh, with a VC. So I've been uh, a serial entrepreneur for the past 10 years. And uh, fortunately enough, I had a chance to experience about the first blockchain project last year with my friend uh, as a higher CEO uh, instead of a founder and had a chance to learn a lot about uh, blockchain startups and it was amazingly fast and that's what attracted me and also realized my genes and DNAs as a transparent CEO is actually very suitable for a blockchain company. So that's why I started this new, uh, founded this new blockchain project myself along with a couple other co-founders um, and uh, founded TokenTuber. So very excited to have this uh, launch in this project this year. And we are moving at a pretty fast pace. Yeah. Awesome. So what does your day look like on average now? Like how busy is it with being the CEO of TokenTuber and maybe any of the other things that you have going on? Right. Well, in the past 10 years, it's actually the same schedule. So uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, we typically work uh, anywhere between 10 to 14 hours a day. Uh, but at the same time, we have a lot of flexibility. So when there are occasional needs, we can take days off. Uh, but most of the times when we are busy, uh, in China, we actually have a schedule called uh, 996, so meaning 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. for six days. So that's the Chinese uh, entrepreneurial schedule. Uh, for me, I'm uh, more of a night owl. So for me, it's more like uh, 10 to 12, uh, 12 till midnight. Mm. Um, occasionally, when, when I do check some um, telegram stuff, it goes till 2 or 3 a.m. So uh, it is very flexible. So very... Uh, Flexible, so I cannot say a fixed time. So today we had a yeah. more of an interview at home because this is a little quieter. It was faster internet. So, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um. So for people who don't know what Token Tuber is, can you just give them a little bit of an introduction as to uh, what it actually is and what it's all about? Sure. Yeah. Token Tuber by name, you can actually uh, pretty quickly understand. There's a token aspect, which is token economy. There's the Tuber, and uh, it, we got the uh, the idea from YouTube because it's a video platform after all. But the difference is that we don't want to disrupt YouTube. We don't want to replace them, but we rather want to partner with them. So that's why you see all the video we have uh, on our uh, sites are actually links from YouTube. So what we want to do is become a vertical in the blockchain space, but with video uh, videos. Right? Uh, and with the mission what we're trying to accomplish is to have the largest uh, volume or largest user portal for blockchain novice and for crypto traders. Okay, so that's our uh, mission. And in the future, we hope we can deliver a lot of values that are serving from either blockchain or from cryptocurrency and create this mass adoption uh, globally so that everybody can come learn about blockchain crypto within a day uh, rather than when we started, we had to uh, probably spend a month or two and asking different questions um, with different friends who, who knew about blockchain or crypto. And this uh, barrier to entry, unfortunately, is extremely high. And there are many ways that you can lose your assets and there are many scams. So that's why we're trying to lower that barrier to entry. And hopefully within a day or two, you'll understand uh, everything by just watching the videos that we have prepared. So instead of searching everywhere for solutions, we try to become this one centralized place where you can learn about blockchain and crypto. So that's the initial ideas behind Token Tuber. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and um, like I just have a question for me. Like, is it is the functionality to 
like withdraw or send the tokens? Is that something that's maybe coming in the future or is that already possible now? Because um, I'm just I'm just not super, super familiar with it. I've been using it for a little bit, posting on there, um, but I just don't know all of the functionality myself. Right. Well, the withdraw and deposits is definitely a function that's coming uh, quite soon, especially the withdraw function. So what you um, um, will be able to do in the next uh, week, I would say, is the withdraw function. Uh, the reason why it has been um, you know, taking some time to develop this withdraw feature uh, is because all the token economy uh, or the token um, the content platforms like uh, Steemits and uh, uh, MyKey, and you know, there there has been some um, issues with uh, spams and bots who are coming to um, uh, try to get the candies. Uh, so the mm -hmm. way to prevent them, uh, you know, there there are many algorithms we have developed on the back end to prevent them, and um, we know there is a big volume coming in to pick up the airdrops and the candies, even the bounties. So to, in order to prevent them from uh, crashing the market price, so we had to develop quite a bit of um, automated um, like a detection system to prevent them from withdrawing. And we need to be able to freeze their accounts so that they will not be able to uh, withdraw if they're not a legit user. Right? So that's mm. taking some time. Uh, and fortunately, this feature is, uh, is almost done. Uh, we are in the testing phase. Uh, we are wrapping up this... Uh, automated withdrawal. What we had last week is we had a, a semi-automated withdrawal just as a test uh, and we did it with our ambassadors. So our ambassadors were the first people, the first batch of uh, users who were able to to do the withdrawal as a test and uh, they okay. were able to uh, success successfully do it um, and uh, we're just you know, optimizing on this feature to make sure it's fully automated um, and make sure there's um, no bugs on on the uh, anti-spam uh, detection. So we'd rather be uh, slow, but make sure this uh, works to prevent any uh, market price question. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And then I assume you're also probably working on like sending to other creators and doing a bunch of different things like that as well. Yes, yes. So deposit okay, awesome. feature is going to take some time. Um, I, I don't have a rough timeline yet, so hopefully uh, in a month or so, um, but what we can do is uh, for any deposits that are manually required, like for example for ambassadors, for investors, these kind of manual operation, uh, we can do it uh, anytime. Uh, our our okay. admins can do it, but uh, the fully automated uh, deposits uh, may take some time, and we're thinking of doing it after one of the critical features. Uh, so it could be two to three months in the pipeline. Okay. Okay. And just to make sure I understand how the monetization works, essentially, you'll be earning tubes for your videos for likes and views and such. And then when you decide to claim, you get like capped off at that point and you just claim whatever's there. And then from there, it's just, it's just a video that exists on the platform. Is, is that, is that correct? Yes. So we designed it so that any user can upload a viral video or a good video that has value from YouTube, right? And uh, as the upvote goes up, the upvotes will determine the value of the video, right? Mm -hmm. And the original creator can come and claim at any time. Uh, we actually prefer the uh, the content creator to create to to claim at a later date when there is a value attached to that to his video. And the moment that he claims, he will be able to earn one third of the value, or one third of the tuber that's uh, displayed, right? For that video. Yeah, okay. So that's how that works. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then will there be any potential features like maybe spending those on like boosting videos or like staking to be able to earn more? Is there anything planned like that in the future? Uh, Yes, there are two important features designed for Tuber uh, for the users to use. Staking is being one of them, and uh, it should be implemented first. Uh, and the second major feature for using Tuber is we, what we call an, an investment game. So this is also detailedly explained in our white paper under Appendix 2. So okay. the idea of investment game is we try to gamify this experience so that any user can use Tuber to invest in the videos they like 
and pin this video to the top of the platform for 24 hours. And the uh, users, the subsequent users can also invest in the same video, uh, but at a higher amount to extend the 24 hour clock. Right? So if it's a really truly good video that's going to go viral and uh, there's going to be a lot of people investing in that video. So this video could be on top of the platform for, for a long time. Um, mm. And the, um, the investment of this video, the, the amounts could get pretty large. Right? So we designed a um, tax system to treat it as a um, almost like a you know, personal tax. Uh, so the more tuber uh, in this snowball effect, the more tax we will be taking. So this is a gamify experience we're trying to build uh, in the Q1 of next year. Uh, it is going to take some time and it does require a significant amount of users and uh, also require a decent amount of good videos uh, on our platform. So it is a dependent condition. So that's why we are not rushing on this feature. So um, the first things that we're planning to do is to get uh, some viral campaigns going. So there are a massive amount of users that can come. Uh, at the same time, we also look looking for um, enough active users who can uh, move all the or, or discover all the contents from YouTube and uh, transfer them over to uh, TokenTuber. Right? So that's something mm. that we are still working on first before we launch this uh, investment game because it does require a lot of users to participate and uh, it does rely on good content as well yeah yeah no that, that makes a lot of sense so what gave you the idea to start this or when did you start discussing this idea or you know just like ideating on it right um so it started last year this idea um so token tuber uh, because we're looking at uh, the blockchain space uh, and see what are the possible things we can do as a D app. Right? So we, as a background, uh, tech, we do have technical background, but we we conducted the research on all the the public chains, and we feel there's already plenty of players, very crowded space in the public chain, and there's not enough things for us to do so i love to uh, innovate and uh, look for things that are blank right mm. so when i look for the pain points and the problems and i noticed the barrier to entry <clears throat> is quite high and uh, i wasn't able to find much of a help um, out there besides uh, a combination of youtube uh, and googling uh, and uh, some articles reading here and there very scattered resources so it took us uh, a lot of time to really learn about blockchain and crypto. Um, so the pain point exists, and that's how we uh, discussed how we should uh, do something about it. So we said, uh, why don't we centralize all the um, resources in one place? And we become that learning hub and that user portal where people can come and learn, hopefully in one day, to learn the basics. And we will pile up more advanced topics uh, later on and we figure out that most people are learning um, from YouTube because it is a uh, very simply explained videos and they help a lot uh, rather than read articles for, for many searching many hours of learning about blockchain I, I realized two minute video actually helped the most so yeah that's why video is actually um, the, the direction that we are headed as a starting point so um, there are uh, a lot of ideas behind this because uh, all we need is an entry point to start, and there are many things we can build uh, and fill in the blanks in, in the blockchain world. So um, that's why we chose the, you know, this as the first pain point to solve, and uh, there are more things we have planned in the, in the future. Awesome. Yeah, so where uh, what are some of the next big updates that are sort of going to release very soon? I know you touched on some of them. Um, but if you just want to quickly reiterate some of those and or touch on anything else that's in the works, uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, just to quickly um, talk about TokenTuber's uh, near uh, updates. Uh, so in the next um, uh, half year, I would say the most important things is to um, uh, get the, the platform to a point where it's able to self-sustain, right? Meaning it has enough users to continually discovering good, good contents 
on TokenTuber. So they can uh, move the content from YouTube, upload it to TokenTuber. And there are enough people doing the upvoting and discovering the good videos so that there are certain values that can um, be attached to the video. So that will, uh, in return, attract the KOLs to come over to claim the video. Uh, so this whole cycle, we want to try to complete in the next half year, along with what we talk, uh, talked about, the staking and the investment game, because that completes the whole cycle of the token economy. So at the moment, what you see is all the, uh, the rewards, the mining rewards that we give out. Right? And the next half of the features is how users can use Tuber uh, on token Tuber. So that's what we're trying to uh, complete. The entire cycle so users can uh, basically self-sustain in this platform they can learn they can discover and they can uh, uh, attract kols and kols in return attract more users so trying to get on this positive cycle is the bunch of features we're going to develop yeah so that's the new awesome yeah. okay yeah cool so what is sort of the like longer five year vision for for uh, token tumor? Right. So it's interesting that we just had some uh, internal discussions on this because we can see that we are wrapping up token tubers, token economy in half a year. And after token tuber is up and running with you know, like hopefully millions of users in, in half a year, uh, what we are planning for the longer term in a year or two, three years uh, is um, is the other things that we can, uh, you know, what are the next pain points we can potentially solve is what we are actually discussing in the, in the past two weeks. So we asked ourselves this question is, what are the type of people that are coming to blockchain or the crypto world? And what do they need? Right. So this is a question that we've been asking ourselves uh, in the past uh, month. And we, we were able to come up with uh, some answers. Um, initially, and uh, we figured that people are actually coming to the crypto space mainly because they want to make money. Mm -hmm. um, and they discover there is such a high volatility and people see the opportunity to make money off it. Uh, but yeah. unfortunately, there are too many uh, deep learning curves and scams so that most people are actually losing money. <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. but then how can we actually help people make money rather than losing money for the newcomers? To, to make sure that uh, this can become mass adopted rather than just a niche market. Right? Mm -hmm. So we, we are thinking tapping into the direction of uh, social investments direction. Uh, so at the moment, I, I, I don't want to give out too much details because it's still in the planning phase and there's nothing concrete at the moment. But we do have a direction of where we want to head it. And the next pain point that we're looking to solve is how we can help people uh, especially the newcomers or the people who doesn't have time to to touch crypto, how to help them make money. Um, so this is something that we call a social investment uh, direction. So uh, we do have, um, I guess, a uh, a platform that we, we use as a reference during study. And this platform is called uh, eToro. Uh, it's uh, very popular on YouTube, almost every ad is talking about eToro so it is a direction mm -hmm. that we're headed but eToro doesn't have a very good social aspect it has a good investment aspect but uh, lacking of the social uh, it's something that we can see how we can um, improve upon that to make it more um, uh, popular for the um, both the, the newcomers and the people in the crypto world but probably lack of time to, uh, to do trading uh, so hopefully um, that's the direction we will have some success and it could become, um, I guess, very influential if we can uh, build a good product upon it. So we're still in the idea phase, nothing concrete, but um, we're trying to build out the user base first and then see how we can um, tap into a good product to, to make that happen. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. And so... What does the current user base look on uh, token tuber? Like, do you know how many people have signed up so far? What's what's the what's the growing looking like so far? Yes, I, I check it uh, almost every day. Um, so what we uh, uh, had done was uh, the first viral marketing campaign that we had back in um, September to October. Um, that has attracted over um, 
um, 20k signed up users, uh, nearly 200k views, right? Uh, so the first viral marketing campaign we did was a uh, crypto holder quiz. Uh, so it is a quiz uh, that's uh, designed, so it's similar to a driver's license test where we give out a certificates um, to make sure they're accredited holder. Um, so they have the basic knowledge make sure that they don't lose their assets in a scam or in a in a way that maybe they lose their phone so they have the basic knowledge mm -hmm. about crypto right so this initiative uh, this quiz uh, we designed it with different exchanges so i launched an exchange alliance uh, two months back and we got two exchanges to start the test with us so we designed a database of questionnaires together uh, to make sure that the um, the traders have some knowledge prior prior to going to the exchange for trading uh, so this exchange alliance effort is uh, is going to grow as i can see there are more ex interested exchanges trying to to, um, to come as well uh, so that was the first init initiative and at that time after one month of campaign we noticed um, a huge traffic coming in and our servers were uh, not able to handle that kind of value so what we did in the next uh, month and a half um, after this uh, first campaign is we redesigned the entire uh, backend. Uh, so the first uh, MVP that we launched was just to do, the, to do the initial product market test. And then it turned out to be quite successful. And uh, after the first campaign, you can see there are um, many active users are uploading videos every day, almost every hour. Um, and uh, it, it just happens that our website is a little too slow for these active users and um, so we had to spend the whole month and a half almost two months now to um, revamp the entire website especially the back-end optimization so what you have noticed now uh, there are three pages that are significantly faster the home page um, the pages where you do the upvotes and also your contribution page because these are the three pages that are checked most often by almost every user so those are the three, the three pages we optimized first, and you should experience a significant faster speed than some other pages. So there are other things we're going to optimize, like the search, the tags. Uh, there are a few things that we're going to still going to optimize. Um, so in a coming, I would say, uh, uh, coming month or two, there's a gradual. Um, you know, we spend a portion of the time optimizing, and then um, most of the time are continuous the feature development. Uh, but what you notice in the past month and a half is uh, we, we stopped all the feature development and we're focusing on optimizing the websites. So uh, one thing that we have already done is um, allowing the scaling of the websites. So if we ever going to have a million users coming in, we should be able to ha handle that um, in, the, mm. in the coming month. So we are about to start our next um, uh, viral marketing campaign. And um, that that's something that we're uh, in the development timing. So next month, we should see it. Uh, so what it is, I can briefly mention what it is. Um, is we call it a blockchain handbook, uh, also a crypto handbook. So uh, this handbook is going to replace our uh, educational category. Uh, on our homepage, you see there's an educational section. right? Uh, but what we see is um, we thought, I did a little market research, and uh, we're also in the process of doing a product uh, market feedback. You see, if we can have all the uh, beginner questions in the one place in this handbook um, and is in the FAQ type of formats or the question and answer formats. So um, we have 29 questions designed for a beginner. So if they come and uh, just read the title, like what is blockchain, what is Bitcoin, now we also categorize, categorize them into the blockchain 101 versus the crypto uh, one on one. So there are some difference in topics uh, that they can choose and learn. So from that handbook, we're looking to make it a standalone uh, H5 version, so everybody can share that standalone rather than uh, coming to our sites. So this will be also supporting mobile versions for the, the handbook. Um, so um, we expect this to float float around in in everywhere in every social media, and uh, it's a useful thing just to to keep it and save it. <laughs> so in any time that you have questions about any of the basic questions, um, you will have it in one place. And uh, that's the, um, the idea behind the handbook. 
and also there's the advanced uh, courses that also 20 plus questions for full-time traders who are looking to improve themselves on techniques. Mm. Uh, so that's yeah. the two different versions of handbooks uh, looking to put into uh, the question and answer format. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, how would you say that TokenTuber fits in with other existing video platforms and how would you say it's different? Like I know that you said it's more of a vertical to YouTube than it is its own unique platform. But if you just want to kind of touch on that a little bit, that'd be awesome. Sure, sure. So before we started this uh, video platform, uh, we looked into all the other video platforms that exist um, that uses token economy. So we found there is BitTube, there's DTube, and there's a bunch of other video platforms. Uh, and uh, what we noticed their intention or their uh, initial idea is to compete directly against YouTube. So what they're doing uh, initially, of course, they have changed their directions. Uh, initially, what mm -hmm. we saw is they're building their own uh, video, video holding uh, backends. So as a, um, as a content creator, they're no longer uploading to YouTube. They can upload only to like BitTube and DTube. But of course, they changed their direction because that direction is a uh, very heavy cost in uh, in the video storage and bandwidth. So I don't think it's the the really the best direction to head into. And uh, their intention is to take users away from YouTube. So they have content of all kinds. Uh, and um, unfortunately, that's not really uh, the the pain point we're trying to solve. Uh, I mean, I don't see any pain point with YouTube. It's it's good enough for for majority of the users. <clears throat> Um, it may be a pain point to minorities, but majorities, I think, is fine. Uh, but the pain point it really is with, with blockchain niche, uh, this vertical, it is the high barrier to entry. And uh, without a dedicated portal, the mass adoption it can be uh, can be a challenge. Right? So, um, so the initial idea is very different behind why we started video platforms. So that's why we only take YouTube links. We don't do any uh, video management or any video on, uh, like uh, compression, storage, uh, sending bandwidth. We don't handle any of that. We just focus on how we can get the best content from YouTube uh, and serve the uh, the crypto or the novices. Right. So that's the um, the main difference. So right now, if I were to look around for any other video platforms like ourselves, uh, I mean I can't really find any. So we're still, after half a year, we're still the first video platform dedicated for blockchain space. Um, and uh, there may be other uh, smaller sites that does, uh, they produce their own content, right, which is a different positioning. Uh, so we want to be a platform where we don't produce any content ourselves. But there are some other studios that does content creation of blockchain content. Uh, and they, they do have some nice traffics, um, but uh, their position is not a platform, and they obviously wouldn't have the token economy aspect. Mm. So as a result, I can see this token tuber being the first and the largest platform to host uh, most user base. So that's the way I see it uh, in the in the near future, at least. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense, and. Um, are we going to see you or anyone from your team in any upcoming crypto or blockchain conferences that we should be on the lookout for? Uh, yes, I actually attended quite a bit of uh, conferences uh, last year. Uh, and uh, this year, I, I uh, well, now it's in December. So next year, I say yes. Uh, this year, I actually stopped going to conferences for, for a couple of reasons. The main one is um, we, we need to, I, well, especially I need to spend time to focus on product development. Uh, so um, rather than going out trying to get user base or a brand, I think uh, this year's priority is to deliver a, um, a product where I can be satisfied with. Uh, at the moment, I already know where the, the issues are. There are so many feedback we collected from users, the early adopters. And uh, we can see there are a lot of complaints about uh, being slow. There's lack of features here and there. Uh, so, so those are the things we're still focusing on to deliver the experience where I can be satisfied with. Uh, so right now I'm like 50% 50, 50 satisfied. <laughs> I know the I know the issues and uh, we are working on it. So the moment that I have a we have a satisfied product experience, then I can go out 
uh, to the conference and promote token people everywhere. So uh, right now we are relying on the mar uh, the online marketing to promote mm -hmm. token people, and we have a fairly large um, ambassador size. Uh, so we had um, uh, in this uh, three month three months of time frame, we have uh, over seventy ambassadors uh, across uh, twelve different countries. Um, so uh, helping us promote token tuber and uh, one of the um, uh, we have some side tasks how we even named them uh, mission impossible but uh, you know, these side tasks actually bring in a lot of um, traffics and crypto users from different projects um, to upvotes uh, on our sites yeah so it is going uh, at a pretty fast pace and uh, you know i'm very happy with it you know as long as there's our um, you know, server is slowing everybody down. Now we know we are doing quite well in the user acquisition phase. So, um, you know, mm -hmm. hope the problem is always on our end. <laughs> yeah. So, so how long have you guys been around now? Like, when did you originally start TokenTuber? Yeah. So this has been around for almost uh, eight months. So we started back in uh, April uh, in idea okay. phase. Uh, that's when we initially built the the team. Uh, so it was uh, four of us. Uh, so now we are still a small team, uh, six, uh, because, uh, you know, we had large teams last year and uh, in, in the blockchain space, we, we need to prepare for the winter time, prepare for the worst case. So that's why one of the lessons, if you uh, read my CEO blog, there is actually uh, one blog about talking about the million dollar mistakes that we made. Uh, so even though we had, you know, multi millions of dollars, but we lost it all in one year. <laughs> so that's why this year we're going to go uh, go small. And then make sure mm -hmm. that we have a um, uh, at a pace that we can accept. And at the same time, we don't want to um, have spend too much money uh, everywhere. Uh, as a result, we couldn't uh, you know, survive in the winter. So we don't know how long the winter is going to be, but uh, we're prepared for the winter time. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And um, where can people go to actually learn more about Token Tuber? Right. Uh, well, TokenTuber, if you search on Google, there are actually many sources, uh, many ways to get us, uh, get users into the websites. Uh, it's on almost all major social media sites. Um, there's a few uh, large um, uh, like uh, media that's covered us, like uh, Bitcoin.com. Right? Uh, so, um, yeah, if, if you just uh, Google TokenTuber, that, that's one way. Um, another way that uh, I mentioned mission impossible uh what happened is that uh, there are a lot of active users trying to discover um, good video content from youtube so uh so it ended up there are two uh two side tasks that are ambassadors and the users are actually actively participating in this they're transferring uh two types of videos uh on onto token tuber and the marketing for us so one type of video there um uh, taken from YouTube is the uh, the news related. So anything that's uh, uh, big news that can affect the, the market price um, and there are active people are uploading the trending videos with dynamic news onto the sites and then they share it everywhere. So that's that's one type of content uh, that's actively removed to our site. And the second uh, is the project related uh, content. So um, the project related are, are basically what the users are doing is um, uh, taking uh, projects that have a intro uh, or explanatory video, uh, a couple minute video, and they take this video and they basically upload to our site, and then they uh, they basically go to the project uh, Telegram and talk with the admins to get their community to support their own video because if they can get enough. Uh, if their video can get enough upvotes, they can be uh, shown on our homepage to, um, mm. to more users. Uh, so as a result, um, the ambassadors and the users are taking almost 100 plus uh, intro videos of different altcoins. Uh, and they have been going to different um, project communities to get their users to upvote the videos. On our sites so right now we see a lot of uh, traffic from different projects coming over um, trying to upload their own video so it is something that we're looking to um, also update our homepage too to have this to encourage this competition with this upvote competition uh, of uh, different altcoins right so we will um, add a, 
uh, add a category called uh, uh, introduction to altcoins. Right? So this is where all the altcoins can be found. Uh, and of course, there's a daily competition of upvotes. So the, the, uh, the most active projects will be shown to the, um, to the active crypto traders. So that's um, oh, okay. what we're looking for. Yeah. Awesome. And um, that's, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. I think we uh, pretty much nailed it with, uh, with, you know, like what is token tuber and giving people a good, a good inside view on uh, what it's all about and what you're all about. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave the audience off with before we, uh, before we end this? Uh, well, just uh, trying to get everyone to t at least take a look on, on tokentuber.com uh, just to check it out. And uh, please do have some patience with us because, uh, like I said, I'm only 50 to 60 percent satisfied with the current uh, features and user experience, but it does serve the minimum. So if you want to come to learn or discover, uh, things are already there. Uh, there are already uh, thousands plus of videos on our sites, uh, which are all quality content, uh, not mm. just the, the, the crappy contents. So that's why um, we, we want to have active users to discover good contents on YouTube. And they become the early upvoters and they will earn more tuber for doing that. So that's why we see more and more people are actually discovering this mining rewards um, they see the tricks behind it right so people are running mm -hmm. articles about how they can earn more so uh, rather than just uh, give a upvote to any random video they, they really got to go discover their own good videos on on uh, youtube or token tuber and then give mm -hmm. their first upvote right the earliest upvote and that's how they can make some uh, decent amount of reward right rather than uh, you know click on uh, upvotes uh, on a random video yeah, yeah, it's sort of the way that like Steam has where it's like for curation, if you're an earlier voter, you'll earn more for uh, getting in there earlier. That that makes a lot of sense. Yes. And um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to see the withdraw feature and being able to send tokens around and all the different things that you guys got planned. I think this gives me a really good insight. I didn't realize that token tuber was so um, such a young project. Um, but it's great to see that you guys uh, already have a similar user base to uh, to BitTube, it seems, because uh, I'm pretty sure they had around 20 something thousand users as well. So, um, so yeah, you guys are definitely um, like taking on the space and I'm interested to see how it uh, plays out when you get all these new features out. So that'll be really, really exciting. And I really appreciate you coming on here um, and doing this interview. It's a little late over here, so I'm a little uh, weary eyed, but um, but yeah, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you getting on here and doing this. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time, Scott, and thank you for the interview. Yeah. Much appreciated. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Bye.